Brian Barry from Salem. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is actually something that may ease some concerns and alleviate some misinformation in this great state of ours. That is the New Hampshire background check form that is to be conducted by state law in conjunction with federal law whenever a citizen buys a handgun or firearm classified as other. <clears throat> Additionally, if I may for one moment, if you can indulge me ladies and gentlemen, I believe you already got a form 4473 earlier, is that correct? If I could draw your attention please to page 3 of 6, box 32. Check if this transaction is to facilitate a private party transfer. That means that when you hear about internet sales and arms list and things of that nature, most responsible gun owners will go to an FFL to facilitate a background check on the buyer because we don't want these firearms falling into the wrong hands because we are responsible and because the federal law allows it. I want to stick to the facts. I don't want to go off on a tangent. Background checks exist, exist, federal and state level, they are here. They work. I've been summoned by Rockingham Superior Court on two or three occasions already to give testimony. Haven't made it there yet because they plea bargain. But I've been contacted by the courts for providing video and evidence of attempted transactions by prohibited people. So although it is an imperfect system, it does work, and it works fairly well. When all the gears grind together, when we as facilitators in the FL in the gun store, when we do our part, it works well. I'm sure there are some questions, given the uh, new documentation you've been handed. Perhaps not. Thank you very much for your testimony. Thank you. Uh... Clock TV.